हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल लर्न विद अली सो इन द प्रीवियस टू वीडियोस वी हैव मेड द इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट मैट लैब एंड जनरेटिंग सम फंक्शंस इन मैट लैब सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल एक्सप्लेन द सैम्पलिंग एंड रिकॉन्स्ट्रक्शन फॉर द हार्डवेयर पार्ट वी ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड वीडियो फॉर द सैम्पलिंग एंड रिकॉन्स्ट्रक्शन बट इन दिस मैट लैब टूटोरियल हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्क्राइब द सैम्पलिंग एंड रिकॉन्स्ट्रक्शन थ्रू मैट लैब कोड so already we ha i have written the code because uh, we don't want to uh, we i don't want to extend the time or for the this matlab code so uh, before going into the program let's first discuss some fundamental or basics about the sampling and reconstruction that we are going to use here actually we are using the sync interpolation so many of you don't know what is the sync interpolation so let's first discuss what is the sync interpolation so as you know let there is a a signal which is represented as sinusoidal that means it goes here it is time t and let its x t right so when i have to sample any signal then we have to multiply there is three types of sampling one is natural sampling second is flat top sampling or sample and hold sampling and so here we are going uh, for the natural sampling so let uh, this signal delta t which is defined as the pulses series of pulses so this is the series of pulses and the diff separation between two pulses is ts sampling interval so when we multiply this this is delta t or you can represent this by summation of let n equals to 0 to infinite and delta t minus n times ts when you put n equals to 0 1 2 this is the shifted version uh, whole delta uh, this signal represented by this expression so when you multiply these two signals you will get the sampled signal like this in negative axis also so the separation here is also ts so this sampled signal let represent as x nts so according to the <coughs> sampling uh, nyquist criteria when are uh, according to the signal systems you know if already you know there is a uh, when you are going to uh, sample some signal it is discrete in nature and the in frequency domain representation when you uh, see then if the original message frequency domain representation is minus fm to plus fm then after sampling this is repeating so i am not going to deep in how this is happening if you uh, just for your transform of x s and t s for your transform of that you will get this signal right that is x s at f so to reconstruct back the signal here this is uh, ts sorry fs and this is fs plus fm this is 2 fs and this is 2 fs plus fm here 2 fs minus fm here fs minus fm or fm so from here you can see that fs minus fm and this is total it is 2 fm so from here if fs is greater than twice of fm then nyquist criteria is satisfied so this is comes from uh, the uh, samples the frequency samples comes at n times fs right so if you, we want to reconstruct it we need an idea and one more thing that uh, you need to know here 
the amplitude of this frequency domain is reduced by 1 by T s. So, if you want to recover the message signal, then you have to pass this sampled signal through a low pass filter, which is uh, and the width of this low pass filter is 2 f m and the height that is amplitude is 1 upon T s. But ideal uh, in it is in frequency domain, but uh, this when you multiply this uh, filter and frequency rep rep representation of the sample signal, then you can uh, get the original signal, but it is in frequency domain. So, in time domain what is this? It is the convolution of in time domain if you want to get x t, then that will be the convolution of x s and t s convolved with the time domain representation of this silk. I think uh, this is uh, the a square wave. So, the time domain representation of a square wave is a sink. So, let h represent as h t. So, here this is you know already there is a signal which is sampled signal and h t is a actually sink pulse. So, s sink of t by t s because when I uh, represent any sync pulse here the area is 1 because here T s equals to 1 by 2 f m and when you multi calculate the area of this uh, square wave you will get 1 and this is the width here in the sync there is a width into T. So, width is actually 2 f m, but 2 f m equals to 1 by T s. So, here it is sync T by T s. Now, further sync T by T s convolved with x s T or n T. So, you can write it in the digital uh, discrete domain in analog you can uh, write with the summation uh, integral, but in the digital form uh, in the discrete form you can write with the summation that is n equals to 0 because n to infinite x of s and t s into this is the delayed version sync t y T s minus n. This is written as uh, or you can uh, like uh, x tau into h t minus tau d tau in, th in that form. So, this is actually the original signal x t. So, here the sync is used that is why we are uh, calling it as a sync interpolation. So, let us start the MATLAB program. So, here you can see this is the uh, CLC clear and close all this is the three uh, uh, syntax which are using for the clearing the uh, component. Then for plotting any sinusoidal any signal you are need the x axis which is represented by t here and that goes from 0 to 1 with the uh, step size this step size 1 by 1000. The f is representing the frequency. How to plot the sinusoidal signal I already explained that is why I am not, I'm not going to explain these things. This is the sinusoidal plotted. More One more thing that is uh, the sampling time if you are uh, if you are going to sample uh, any signal then it is uh, uh, you have to select the sampling time and note that this sampling time that is 1 by 100 it should be greater than this step size which is uh, originally plotted because for plotting any analog signal there is a requirement of the infinite number of samples, but in the MATLAB we cannot represent it by infinite number of samples that is why we are sampling some more number of samples that is one uh, with the here the samples uh, size is nearly 1001. Uh, 1001. And in this case 101, so less sample uh, you have to uh, sample you have to pick the tenth samples in this case we are picking the every tenth sample that is sampling. 
So again for the sampling signal you have to define the uh, time axis which is Ts it is going from 0 to 1 with increment of Ts or step size with Ts. So this is the sampled you can write this as uh, this is the you can write it as or original signal and here this is the sampled signal you can write this sampled signal then for the reconstruction part because sampling is very uh, very easy in the MATLAB so for the reconstruction part let uh, reconstructed signal is represented by XRT and uh, we are first defining some memory space for that and zeros one comma length of t because uh, for the reconstruction the number uh, length of the signal total number of samples that we can taken is original with that is t so let's define here uh, there is a summation from n equals to 0 to infinite in this case it is not infinite it is going to t so uh, let n equals to 0 then uh, because we have the sampled signal which length is up to t s that is why we are taking the simp uh, this i equals to 1 to length of t s here temp is just representing an one intermediate steps and x and t s this is the sampled signal and first sample of the sample signal and this is interpolated with sync t minus n t s you can write it as when uh, we write you can write this uh, in the form as there is a um, I have already explained sync t upon t s minus n so you can just multiply here that will be keep t minus n t s divide by t s this is the sync this is function this is the function written here and this is the uh, conv uh, convolution that is why when uh, you, uh, you, are, you have to use the summation term then for that there is a for loop here and after that this is the sampled signal then this is multiplied with the sync pulse and it goes up to from n equals to 0 up to let us increasing up to T s. So, first multiply then n equals to n plus 1 means n is increasing by 1 then this is addition addition means just summation term then this will give you the some original constructed signal then after that I have plotted the signal subplot 3 comma 1 comma 1 0 this is the plot one more thing that uh, is important here when you are plotting some sampled signal for that we uh, use is stem and for the plotting the continuous signal we use the just plot so let us run this program you will see that is so here you can see this is the original signal this is of, uh, one and this is two two cycle because we have defined fm equals to two right f that is frequency equals to two this is the samples that we have taken here the gap between this is 1 by 100 this is the sampled signal and this is the original reconstructed signal so why this way you can um, here the frequency is 2 that is why there is a 2 cycle of the frequency is present in that so I hope this video is helpful for you if you like the video then please share subscribe my channel